organizing everything and being in touch. So welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Paola. Uh, I work at Richmond, Uruguay. And I'm a teacher too, so uh, I can really get it and see that you had to change the way of teaching from one day to another on short time notice. So the idea is that we are here to help you and go over uh, English Attack, which is an excellent resource that you can incorporate to your remote classes. So let's see if together we can, we can surf through the platform and understand its underlying principles so we can make the most of it in class. We will be, as Hime was telling you, we'll be monitoring the chat room and we will give you some space so you can ask questions and tell us if there's any doubt or if there's anything else that we can help you with, all right? So, uh, we are already 49 participants. There are, and it's, going over. Well, we are indeed Great. expecting a lot more, but to Perfect. honor all of you who were here on time, we're Great. going to get started, but we are indeed expecting a lot more. <laughs> Perfect. No worries. Uh, I have thought about this, so for the ones that are here, which I have been seeing you for a while, trying your microphones and your cameras, thank you again. It was great to get rid of my pajamas and actually become a social human being again. So thank you for that too. Uh, as we wait for the rest to be here, I'm going to start sharing my screen so I can just exchange some opinions with you. So hold on a second. There I am. We see it all right. Perfect. Hold in a second and I'll be there with you. There it is. So as we wait for the rest to come, I'm really interested in knowing uh, how you're doing till now. So let's see if it works. I wanted to ask you <clears throat> this question. Do you usually include video lessons in your remote classes in these difficult times? So if you can, I would like you to grab your phones, go to <clears throat> menti.com and use the code provided down there, okay? So if you get in there, you will just have to answer yes or no, and we will see here live results so i can get you know, to know what you're doing and if you're actually including video lessons in your current remote classes just two minutes let's see if you can do it we've got our first yes two three all of you We have many other participants who are just joining. We are now uh, working on a poll. And the question is if you usually include video lessons in your remote classes. Sometimes it's not that easy. So just your honest reply to this so we can check what you're doing and see how we can exploit this tool with you. Okay, so far we've got eight responses. Remember, you just, you just have to go to menti.com, all right, and use the code provided there to include your answers. The code is 128608, and the web page is menti.com. We have nine responses till now, 70 participants. Fifty-fifty. I'm getting some yeses and some noes in the chat room. In the chat room too. Yeah. 
This is a tool that has nothing to do with Richmond, but whenever we are working online and you want to get feedback with your students, it's great to be used. So it's something that is good to share too. So many of you do actually include video lessons in your remote classes. Some others couldn't yet, but fortunately after this webinar, uh, you will. We teachers need ready-made resources. My God, it is so tiring to be all of the time planning and inventing different activities for our students. It's really hard. So here you will have ready-made things to include. So for the ones that are saying no, these are good news. One more minute and we just close the poll. So it's quite divided, right? Many of you have been lucky enough to include video lessons regularly in your classes and some others still couldn't. So let's see what we can provide you, okay? Different tips that you can work with in your classes. So thank you all for participating here. I will just go to some things I wanted to point out. First of all, we all know that educational videos improve our learning experience and motivate our students to do more things. Uh, they enable us to create these flipped classroom environments and they facilitate these times of remote teaching. So it's an on-the-go resource. They can access to it 24-7, so it's perfect for these times. They seek to change the roles. We are not lecturers. And we know that in our classes, we're not lecturers, but now more than ever, we are facilitators. The next thing I wanted to highlight is that they offer flexibility, okay? Every kid can have its own pace. They can pause, they can skip, they can fast forward, they can go back, they can trigger class discussions, you can review different target language or vocabulary, grammar. So they provide plenty of opportunities and it's quite a flexible resource. Of course, they increase student engagement and that in turn boosts achievement, all right? So whatever they are interested in, they will better process it and then remember it, recall it. They, they increase that knowledge retention, okay? They can just go back and review things whenever they need to, okay? And of course, they increase proficiency in digital literacy and communication, and those are basic skills in 21st century, 21st century sorry. Now, let me go to the next slide. Here I'm bringing Harman and Paulson. I brought two, two, two nice things that, are, that I consider it important to share with you. Uh, maybe you can see there in your screen what Harman had to say. Video can give essential extra benefits for students' learning experiences, enrich the students' experience about language in use, improve their cross-cultural understanding, develop creativity, increase their motivation in learning. So, we all agree on that. The thing is, how can we implement things? Because it's not something that easy. Now, Paulson, on the other hand, I'm seeing my face here, so let me just move it around. Uh, the effective use of online materials may provide positive spin-offs for learners, much the same way as if they were immersed in the language and culture while studying abroad. And I really want to point this out. It is no longer a question of whether to take advantage of these electronic technologies in foreign language instruction, but on how to harness them and guide our students in their use. So that's our main purpose here, and I hope that we can help you with this. Now, English Attack. This is the platform that we will be focusing on today. And what we will do now is go over its key pedagogical outcomes. We will go over platforms features and then we will surf together on the net so we can see the different sections and areas that are there for you to use in your remote lessons. I believe many of you already know English Attack. And so this will be great to just recap everything. And for the ones that are 
newbies here. I hope that it is useful too. So talking about the key pedagogical outcomes, first and foremost, strong learner motivation is provided through videos, okay, and mostly what we are talking about, which is English attack, okay, there you will find a lot of movie clips, songs, uh, visual uh, mini dictionaries, and you have a whole wide range of resources and authentic material to be used in your classes. So students will really get it. Then they will provide frequent input and learner autonomy, okay? Why? Because a typical learning unit can be completed in less than 10 minutes, yes. You need short things. You know that their attention spans are brief. It depends on their age, okay? But if we are in remote lessons, we need to shorten things up so we don't lose them, all right? So activities can be done and whole class activities can be done in 10 minutes, so that's a big class. And the last thing that I wanted to point out is the retention of learning items. There's a lot of addictive, because they are actually addictive learning games, and they provide that repeated exposure and the use of new vocabulary. So they are all the time recycling and consolidating, and this will be something that's ready-made for you, okay? So you can just facilitate guide and then follow and track their progress. Let me go to the next slide. So what can we do? What is there for us? There are three, ma three main areas in the English Attack platform. You will find video booster section, which, where you will find movie clips, uh, song clips, and actually documentaries, many things that they can actually watch on TV and in their daily lives, current affairs. Then you have the photo vocabulary section, which they are like mini dictionaries for you to review vocabulary, which may be associated to the contents of your curriculum. And finally, you have a verb dash game, okay? And this is the addictive thing. They are all the time recycling and working with Con conjugations, okay, but in a fun and motivating way. So now let's go to the web and we can go over, uh, go over it and just tour, right? So let me just go to the next screen to share. Sorry for that. Please be patient. Well, you may know when you are working with your online classes that we are at home. We are all at home. I'm not in the publisher now, I'm at home. So we rely on our internet connection and on our computers and technological supplies. Fortunately, I'm alone here. I just have a cat, which bothers me, but I imagine you teachers, when you are with your students online and suddenly your baby starts crying or your little boy needs attention or your teenage girl has loud music. So we are all the time struggling with things that may emerge and happen on our remote classes. So now that everything's settled, let me show you here. This is the main, the home page, okay, of English Attack. Whenever you log in, this is the first thing that you will see there, okay? And as I oh, told uh, you, sorry about, I, I cannot yeah? see the, I cannot see it quite yet. No, see, it is still loading. The background of your PowerPoint. That's what I see. Okay, hold on. Let me just. <laughs> What about yeah. now? Uh, I can see your PowerPoint, but not the website. Some teachers are telling me the same here. They see your PowerPoint, but not the website. Ah, uh, because it's paused. Let me see something. Thank you for telling me. Uh -huh. I'll go back again and I'll turn off my camera too. Okay.
There you yeah? go. Now we is see it. Is it working? Yes. Thank yes, it you is. so much. <laughs> and sorry for that. It's all right. Uh, now, as you log in, okay, to English Attack, this is the first thing that you will see. And this varies according to your activity in the platform. As I was telling you, we have three main areas. Video booster. Then we have the photo vocabulary. And finally, we have the verb dash game. This is a summary of the activity that I have been doing in the English Attack platform. And this is how your students will also see it, okay, whenever they are working with it. Uh, they will find a video booster activity which is in progress or that you teachers have assigned to do. This is the short clip. Clips are quite short. It's, they are no longer than a minute, a minute and a half. So they are straightforward activities, but still really engaging. Then accompanying this video, you have some activities which they are all here, and then we will get one by one exploring what you got there. I won't do the karaoke thing, sorry. <laughs> I'm still too shy to do that. Then we have the photo vocabulary, which here I was working with live stages. Then you choose which photo vocabulary you want to work with and the different exercises accompanying this at two levels, basic and advanced, all right? And then the game, as I was telling you, you may be thinking about this column on the right where you have this cute dog talking about your daily goal, okay? This is something that helps our students to set their objectives. And actually, yes, you can share activities or ask them to do a particular activity online, but then they will want to do more. And it's great if they are self-motivated. Here, they can set their daily goal. I'm clicking here. And here we have the cute dog saying, hello, this is your coach. Setting a daily goal will help you stay motivated while you improve your English. You can change your goal at any time by adjusting the parameters below. And it's something really, really simple for all ages. How much time a day can you dedicate to English? How many days a week can you practice your English? What would you say your English level is? And according to your answers, you will be given a they will be given a daily goal and a weekly objective. Why do we have points here? Because they earn points each time they complete an activity. So let's pretend I'm a student and I want to dedicate 30 minutes per day to my English. Yeah, I'm a good student. I want to practice four times a week. And I would, I would say that my English is average, all right? So according to these answers, the system tells me that my daily goal is 600 points and my weekly objective is 2,400 points. So this will give them an aim to keep on working, okay, at their own pace, based on their own interest, apart from the, from the things that you are actually sending them to be done, okay? Now, after they are working with assignments and actually we, we teachers can send them tests, they will be he given their current level of English, right? This is something demo. It's an, everyone will be, will be given a level according to a, the CFR uh, reference, right? Now, this is the active session, as I told you. The other thing that we have, the second tab, is all exercises. And we have the three sections I told you, video boosters, photo vocabs, and verb dash game. So let me click on video boosters. Every time I click on something, it's fingers crossed, so everything works. So as in every web page, we have featured video booster exercises, okay, so they can see what's new, what has been recently added. All of them have different levels, okay, and different aims. And then you can scroll down to see the categories. You have movie clips, TV series, and 
music apart from news and society category and leisure all right in each of the categories you have some uh, a number of videos to work with the one that has more the category that has more is uh, the movie category which has a 783 on each day they are adding more and more so here what you can do is just explore and see what you want to keep as favorite or to assign to your students here you have some categories all right that you can just choose depending on maybe you want to work on a grammar point so you click on grammar and there they tell you okay select a grammar point so you have a whole list here of different grammar structures that you may be wanting to work with your students it is quite complete and comprehensive depending on the level of your kids we start with the verb to be and we even have a uh, subjunctive present and past okay we get to the present perfect let's see present perfect with foreign scenes so i just click on search and after I click on search, I have 14 videos that work with present perfect for and scenes. Okay, so here you can see the different videos that you have available there, right? So let me just, here you can sort by latest published, A to Z, Z to A but then you have other categories which you may find useful because you have thousands of videos and what we don't have is time so everything that can be simple that's better so here you can just go to difficulty levels these are graded according to the cfr uh, reference so we have from a to elementary till advanced here you can just choose one you go to search as we did with the grammar point and here for a2 plus that's a lower intermediate level you have 519 videos okay to work with your class as you can see this contains all of movies songs uh, tv news okay so you have different sources of information and different genres of course all right and this keeps going and going so please do explore the categories and then you tell me how it goes now going back to video boosters okay here i was working with search here you have the kids corner if you're working with primary kids and all of them are quite suitable they have different levels of english you can see you have a very brief thing here a2 plus lower intermediate a2 elementary b1 intermediate so you choose according to your needs okay and they are quite popular movies and some others which no one knows no one cares but they are great clips anyway now let me show you an example of the things that you can do with video boosters let me go back. Okay, I will go back to the search because I liked one which I could see here, sorry. We were working with, today we saw present perfect. I should find it shortly. Here it is. I search again. And remember, I had many videos. Now, you teachers are surfing on the platform and want to see what's good, what tailors your needs. I'm working with this clip, which is from the movie Shrek the Fourth. It is intended for an A2 plus level, and it's one minute long clip. Whenever you click on these, you have different activities. First, you have a pre-reading thing where you can see all the vocabulary that they may not understand or know beforehand. So they can just click here, okay, and see the definition and even the with the sound, okay, spelling. 
Then what that you can see here are the different activities that are provided to accompany that video clip. We will go one by one. And let me show you the video itself. As it, as it is only one minute, I can do so. Hope you're still alive and I'm not boring you to death. Let's see if it's, I can motivate you too. So here is the video clip. Okay, I can listen, I can read in the chat thing that there's no audio. Let me see if I can fix it. What about now? No, yeah. let me see if I need to pow, uh, do something here to allow for the audio to come in a different way. Let me see if I can do something about it. Okay. That is a name I have. Let's hold on so we can see if we can figure this out about the audio thing, because it's A minute, a second ago, it was better. Can you, can you play it again? Yeah, let's see. No, <laughs> it was my imagination. For some reason, I can't find where to do this. Uh, maybe here, let me see. Mm. No. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't want to delay you. No, it's not working? No, we can, we can watch the video, but do not hear any sound. Let me see if I can. Yeah, because I have the mic and everything. Select your speaker. Mm -hmm. Check the box. Yeah, I'm trying to figure things out too because it was working. Yeah, me too. A minute. Yeah, bear with us, please. <laughs> Wow, uh, teacher Yelena is telling us here that before you play the video, you need to click on video audio. Uh, yeah. And let's then, see now. Let's see. No. That's a PC. At the top, Mariela is telling us that at the top, you mm -hmm. will find an option. Mm -hmm. I wonder where. <laughs> Thanks, Mariela. Yes, uh, you know that drop-down menu that displays from you from the top of your screen. The Let's see now. Uh -huh. there. 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 Yeah. You've got to yeah. be kidding. Okay, we did it. <laughs> Thanks for your patience. So we started again with the video clip, which was only intended for a minute and now it took longer. It's all right, it's all right. I Thank followed you. instructions. <laughs> Thank you for your help. So there it goes. You should not be here, senor. Puss? Uh -huh. You've got to be kidding me. Feed me, if you dare. Puss, what happened to you? You got so far. Fancy. Do I know you? Well, where's your hat? Where's your belt? Your wee little boots. Boots? Forget! <laughs> but your puss in boots. Maybe once. But that is a name I have outgrown. That's not the only thing you've outgrown. Hey! I may have let myself go a little since retirement, but hanging up my sword was the best decision of my life. I have all the cream I can drink and all the mice I can chase. Hey. I'll get him later. Oh, 
Okay, so as you have seen, there are quite short video clips. Let me just get out from these. Can you all listen to me, just in case? Let me see the chat if you're saying yes or no. Yes, perfect. I didn't want to, again, do things wrong. So after you have this short video clip, right, which I choose Shrek, I like cats and I like Shrek. And I'm becoming that Shrek little cat, uh, fat, actually. <sighs> it's very difficult to be at home. So after you work with this short clip, okay, you, have, you can go to comprehension. And these are the activities that follow that video clip. You have these sort of questions. Why is Shrek surprised when he first sees Puss? And you have multiple choice. Puss is drinking heavily. Puss no longer likes chasing mice. Puss is speaking with a Spanish accent. Puss has become fat. We all know that's the answer. Okay, if you do things, if they do things right, it goes green and they click on next. Why does Boos no longer wear boots and a sword? We have three options. I'm gonna choose whatever, so you can see when it's wrong, it turns into red and it shows you the correct answer. Here you have the progress bar, okay, with greens and reds. Next question, why does Shrek avoid calling Boos fat? Okay, we have, he calls him fancy actually, right? So he cannot pronounce the word, he forgot the word, he's afraid of Boos or in order not to hurt his feelings. Let's, let's believe it was this one. Yay, great. And the last question, it's a general comprehension question, what does Puss admit? And they have four options here. And he agrees that he should wear his boot, he's too lazy to chase mice, he's kidding with Shrek, or he let himself go a little, yeah. The same happens to me. <laughs> now, this is the first part, right? The general understanding, you got a score, your students will get a score, okay? This is the second time I have done things, so that's why we, I had some previous points there. Then the second exercise is the listening lab, okay? This time, and you will always have two things here, the video to play it again, Okay, so you can work with the listening activity as you play the video and you listen. You should not be here. Or you can go to the vocabulary. So here, the intention is that students listen to the things again. And as they Senor. listen, Puss. they complete here, okay? You've got to be kidding me. All right, so this goes on and on. They listen to the clip and they complete it with the three options here. Okay, I'm gonna do it quickly. So you see that I still can go there. Where's your hat? I have outgrown. and let myself go. All of this vocabulary was pre-taught, remember, in the pre-watching activity. So here I have finished with this activity, I click on next. Oh my, I'm a nerd. Excellent work as usual. Next one, advanced comprehension. So we're going a step further. And it's not only the general thing, but we're going straight to detail. Sorry, I'm listening to a microphone on, which is interfering. That's done, thank you. Now, what were the Shrek used instead of fat to describe poo? So again, we're always going through the same minute of video clip. They choose here the options. Maybe they can just remember what they heard because they have done it twice. And if they have doubts, here you have the transcript, the video, and again, the vocabulary. So if they don't understand uh, one of the keywords, they can just click on it and read for the definition or... Let myself go. 
pronunciation, okay? So this is the next exercise. After the advanced comprehension, so we are here, we have done the pre-watching, vocabulary quick view, then we watched the video, then we started with comprehension, general activities, then we went to listen in lab. Now we are on advanced comprehension, okay? Reading for listening for detail too. And then we go to vocabulary academy, okay? This is the section we are with. So let me just put whatever here. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Can yeah? you zoom in a little bit so that the text is a little bit bigger? Yes, of course. Thank you. I think it's that's better now. Better. Yeah. Yeah. Better. Yes. Thank you, Hime. <laughs> what does Puss uh, say he now has? Okay. And he has a lot of time to do many things. I did wrong here. Okay. Next. I just want to show you the different possibilities that each clip offers you. No matter the clip you're working with, you always have these exercises, okay? And they follow this sequence. So we have finished with Vocabulary Academy and then we go to Grammar, okay? So here they will have to complete this dragging and dropping the words, okay? So here, what they just do, okay, is put, okay, the word I'm putting whatever here. And here you'll see that the green ones are okay and then I got three wrong answers. So I can try again, right? That's what your kids have. They have second chances, three chances, four chances. So they don't get frustrated and actually they have immediate feedback. So that's a great plus, okay? So after this exercise, You, you keep on working with grammar. So here they have the grammar rule. We are working with the present perfect for unseen. And then they have an example which was taken from the video. Okay, I may have let myself go a little since retirement. Okay, and then they have some grammar exercise. Is this sentence correct? Remember this is for every clip, not only for the one that I have chosen as an example. So we have been living in Germany since 1944, 1994, that's okay. I have married since three years, that's not correct. Oh, you always sorry. have four, yeah. I'm going to interrupt you because our uh, teacher Margaret here is asking us if you're still in the Vocabulary Academy section or if you're somewhere else. No, I just started, let me show you. I'm in the video booster section. Let me show you again. There are many exercises, so you may get lost. Remember that I was working with, sorry, with the video, Shrek, and each of the videos has all of these exercises. We have been doing these exercises, right? We are now in grammar. Does that answer your question? This is in the video booster section. Whenever you choose a clip, you have all of these exercises to be done. Yeah? Perfect. I have just checked the chat. Sorry, I have to put it down. If not, I cannot see the screen. Hime, please tell me if there's any other question, okay? Yes, I will let you Thank know. Thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. so after grammar, okay? We have Swap Mania, which is a game. In this game, okay, what they have to do is complete the words and phrases, okay, to practice the key expressions that were there in the video. So I'm going to click on play, and this is the game. You can see that you have some letters in black. These are the letters that you can move, okay? This in orange, okay, corresponds to the orange section here. And we have a definition, allowed myself to deteriorate my physical appearance. So here I assume is let 
myself go. And the other one, which went automatically, if you are brave enough, you dare to do something. So this is the of the game. Again, this one is increasing in difficulty. So you have three things, okay? Again, you have to work with the letters. So kidding me, okay, is the first one. Then I go to the blue one, the period after a person's active professional life. This was retirement. And the last one, what one chooses to do after thinking about a situation, that's a decision, okay? So roughly, this is the game, okay? The swap mania game. And finally, the last exercise that accompanies every video clip is the word rescue. In the word rescue, it's, you, have, you will find another game. So your kids will love it, okay? Here again, we are working with vocabulary. So what they will have to do is complete the words. This is like a hangman. As they introduce one letter, okay, it goes to all of them. For example, here I write the T. If I don't know the expression, I guess just try. Ah, it's let myself go. So there they realize and they start completing things. And they have timing and stuff. So then they will earn points according to what they have done. So this is the other game. A Scottish expression meaning small. This may be difficult to them, but it was one of the key expressions. And I remember it was we, right? They will always find an example. Well, I'm getting sleepy, so I think I'll just take a wee sip of whiskey and then go to bed. Don't tell this to your kids, no whiskey. Now, if you're brave enough, okay, so this is the last exercise, the word rescue exercise. Yeah, is it clear? You have eight levels. I won't bore you doing the eight levels, but these are the different things that you got the vocabulary quick view the video comprehension listening lab advanced comprehension vocabulary grammar swap mania which is the first game word rescue the last game so far clear no questions great <laughs> We're getting, it is very interesting, it is awesome. Uh, <laughs> teacher Margaret does have a question. Please, teacher, do type it here in the chat room so I can read it for, for Paola. Okay, we're, we're gonna wait for teacher Margaret to, to write her question. Okay, perfect. They're asking about access. I think you're going to uh, address whether this needs an account or something like that later, right? Hmm. Actually, the access, you have to talk to each of the country's representatives, as I'm here in Uruguay, and Richmond works uh, differently in different countries with different schools. If you have any queries about uh, access or technical issues, please contact your local rep, okay? I'm more than happy to help you, but sometimes things may vary a little bit, so I don't want to say something that's not, okay? Now, the next, uh, the next part that we have is photo vocabs. Here is mini dictionaries, visual dictionaries with topics. Maybe in your program, you're working okay with any of these topics. We have abstractions, 13 photo vocabularies is life stages, light, movement. These are quite advanced as they are abstractions, okay? But it's like working with flashcards in class. Okay, then we have, I'm going to show you, don't worry, what you can do with them. Body and health, business and education, clothing and fashion. Girls love that section. Culture, food and drink, hobbies and technology, nature, places society, sports, house. So, you know, there's a bunch of photo vocabulary 
and visual dictionary activities. So related to the video clip, it's great that we can choose a video clip and a photo vocab which may be linked. So it has more, it makes more sense. So here related to what we have seen, and at first glance, it may seem that it has nothing to do, but I chose life stages, okay? You will see how and why. Now, each photo vocabulary has basic or advanced level, okay? So we will start with basic. And what you, we will be seeing here is just the picture, okay? Adolescence, you have pronunciation, okay? And you have an example sentence. Young people's bodies go through many changes during adolescence, okay? Then you just go to the next one, adulthood, birth, childhood. So you have all of the life stages here with their definitions, okay? Here, for example, we've got retirement. Remember that Pusin Boots was saying that he was retired and that's why he had left his boots somewhere else. Okay, so these are the keywords, right? Then, this is the album. Then, the next exercise is Swap Mania. So it's quite uh, the same as the exercise we did with Shrek. Everything that your students do makes them earn points. So that's an excellent way of motivating to do more. Remember the coach and the objectives and the daily objectives, weekly objectives. So it's quite addictive because they want to get there too. Now the swab mania, as we have seen, is the same thing, but with this key vocabulary, Remember that the black letters are the ones that they may move. Okay, here, for example, is the, the, you can see the picture and there is where you just answer, right? Then you have a new game that I haven't showed you. This is for, remember that we were first in the video booster section, now we're in the vocab, in the photo vocab section. This is the third thing that you can do with the photo vocabulary section, which is the speed picks. It says, beat the clock and everyone else by associating pictures to words as quickly as possible. The faster you go, the higher you score bonus. So here you have a picture, okay? <laughs> You have a word and you have to associate it to a picture. So birth, and I start looking for the picture. There it goes. Death, this one's terrible. There it is. Okay, so here they just look up words. If they are wrong, Music changes, it's cruel, okay? But then they get to know the, the right answer. So this is the other game that you have related to the photo vocabulary that you have chosen. And finally, the word rescue, which we have also seen with the video booster, but this time it focuses in the keywords, okay? That you have been working with. And again, it's like the hangman, okay? They start just, you see, if it's, there's not a word there, not a letter there, they tell you, uh-uh, you're wrong, okay? There it is. Okay, remember, you, they click on next and they have the next one. So, this is the second section from English Attack, right? Remember, first of all, video booster, here they will see the points that they have earned and what's left because sometimes they don't do it everything in a row okay so there they can be aware of their own progress then we have the photo vocabulary as we have just seen and finally we have a game okay which is the verb dash game in this case we are working with irregular verbs 
So let's see if it loads. Internet is being quite nice with me. Uh, I can't believe it. So let's see how it goes now that it has to load more. Just breathe in, breathe out. There it is. I should put the screen back to 100% so we can see full there. Okay. So here they can select their game mode, expert, essentials, okay, costume. They, they choose their own list of verbs or with a coach mode. If I go to essentials, for example, here I will have the definition to move through the air. Every day I fly, yesterday I flew and I have flown. Correct. And that's, they, ha they have a time limit, you know, that the clock is moving forward. So they start actually thinking and they have to do it quite quickly. And instead of just, it's very difficult for them sometimes to learn irregular verbs. So this is a way that they can actually be motivated and engaged to do it, okay? As I'm seeing the clock, even I want to move forward because it pushes me, okay, to keep on working. Okay, so if they do something wrong, okay, they tell, hey, that's wrong. Again, we use the red color if it's wrong and the green one if it's correct. So that's the last part, the last section that English Attack has to offer, right? Video boosters, photo vocabularies, and the verb dash game. Okay, now the last window we have here is my school okay and this is how you will manage your classes and how you can create assignments there are actually two ways of creating assignments the first way of creating assignments is whenever you are you have a video that you think it may suit your needs okay i'm going to choose whatever you see that here we have a plus and we have some dots there this is, for example, music. We haven't seen any video clips, but the video clips are complete there. Maybe I want to work with this song. Okay, I see that vocabulary is okay. I check grammar. I see things beforehand. Okay, and ah, ah, it's great, it's great. Okay, so I chose to uh, give this to my students, okay, to work with. So whenever I when to the video i just click on class and i have add to assignment i have my classes here your reps will have everything done for you in the platform or give you the instructions to do so and i can add it to an assignment or i can create a new assignment okay here i will have my class and the number of students as this is an, an invented demo version i don't have real students and here i can select when for so if you're working it with it in your remote classes okay you can just send them things to do and give them a deadline okay so in this case i choose april 21st and i click on confirm okay so that's one way of sending them homework or a piece of video clip to work with now the other way of doing so is whenever you are surfing the platform and you start looking at videos that may be useful what you can do is just add them to favorites okay so then you have a list of different videos that you can start dosifying and giving to your students okay and whenever you add things to favorites then you have a quick access to favorites and you just go time by time. Okay, now I want to do this. So I click on the plus and I add it to my class. And it's really, really simple. It's just plus, plus, done, right? Now there's another way, a more sophisticated way of uh, creating assignments, which is from my school. Here in my school, you have different things. Your students, which I don't have, sniff, sniff. Then class management, 
Okay, here you have your classes and the detail of your, because you may have more than one class at your, at your school. And then you have these two areas, which I find really important to, to see, assignments and tests, okay? Assignments, we have just seen that you just click plus and that's assigned to your students with a due date. But another thing that you can do is go to your class assignments, okay? And you can create a new one here. You select your class, you select a due date, you confirm, okay? And every time you create a new assignment, okay, it will look this way. You have the one that you chose, the students that will be doing it, and when it was set for. This was an example from a couple of years ago, okay? This is a new one, which I did today. So they have this to be done, and I can add things. For example, I chose a video, but I can add a photo vocabulary. So I click on photo vocab and I choose the one I want them to work with. Just clicking on plus, there it goes. So if I go back to assignments, you see here I have live stages too. So you just, it's quite friendly, you know? You just click, click, done. <laughs> That's my theory. Then whenever you have assignments here, you have a, a summary of the things that you have sent, your students will be doing this. And you will have, you, could, you will be able to track their progress. And you will have this of stats and results. So here you will have all of your classes, the average grade, how many videos they have played, how many vo photo vocabulary they have worked with. And then in each of your classes, classes, this is third form A, I click on it and I will have details of that particular classroom, okay? And then here I will have the list of students, which as it is an invented account, which I don't have students, I don't have that information there. But this is great because you're giving them something to do which has a purpose, which is connected to the contents that you want to teach them and, and aligned to your curriculum, but also it provides you numbers, okay, stats, results. So yeah, your students will have immediate feedback, but you will be able to follow what they have done or what they haven't done. You can see what has been a success and what hasn't been so, okay? So this is a great, great tool that the platform has to offer too. Okay, remember this is in my school assignments, right? Then we have tests. And here you have some assessment tests. Remember that in the home page, I showed you that my current level of English was a B2 minus. That's a, that was an example. Where did that came from? From here, okay? When you go to assessment tests, okay, you can send your students some tests aligned to the CFR uh, reference and you have four complete tests. I have already assigned once test one, so I am going to assign test two. Here you can pre-visualize things. As we don't have that much time, I'm just going to show you how you, you click on it. Next, you select your class. Next. Sorry, there it goes. And when is it for? Perfect, done. It took me 15 seconds and I also had to think. <laughs> okay, so this was the assessment that I am sending to my class. I click on publish and my class will have that assessment to be done. Okay, that assessment consists of a series of videos and accompanying activities working on uh, comprehension, on all of the skills and all of the activities that we have seen together previously in this webinar, okay? But it will be a set of videos. So after they finish with that, they will be given 
uh, in an English level. So in the example that we had here in my active section, me as a student, when I finished that assessment, this is what I got, okay? So let me show you, let me go back to the presentation. Fingers crossed to see that it works. Let me just stop share. I'm going to start my video again so I can check the chat and see if you have any questions till now. I'm all eyes and ears. I'm seeing that here I have a question. Is it possible to have a preview of the test before sending it to my students? Of course you can, okay? Uh, that was with a little I, it was next to the assigned assessment, okay? Let me see if there are any other questions here. Please, questions related to technical issues or account settings, contact your local representative. <laughs> I'm in love with them, I love this comment. Greetings to everyone. Okay, let's see if I have any new message. Is it free? Okay, uh, please contact your local representatives as every country manages this differently, but uh, let me tell you that there are, okay, some, some important, a number of licenses which are free, okay, but contact your local reps because I don't want to say things that are not my business. Uh, could the site record the student's interaction to register evidence? What the system registers are the exercises that your students have done, the points that they have earned and the results. That's, uh, that's the thing that you can see when you go to my school, assignments and you have the stats there, statistics and results. I, I couldn't show you because I have a demo version so I don't have actual students working on the platform, okay? But uh, of course that you will have that information there. Let's see one more question here. Uh, to work with the students while the teacher is sharing information with them, I mean the Zoom session. Yeah, you can do as I did here, okay? You share screen, you can give instructions, you can guide them through the, through the work and they can be logged in working uh, through the platform, okay? So now let me show you as we are talking about your students, Let's see if I can share screen again. Thank you for your patience again. There it is. Sorry, my computer has frozen every time I click on the presentation it gets freeze. But I, what I want to show you now is how your students will visualize whatever you are sending them to do in the student's platform, okay? Hold on a second, I'm gonna turn off my camera again. There I am. My God, technology. Are you struggling that much too? From current slide.
Wow, I'm seeing a lot of nice messages. Thank you. Platform motivates students. It looks great. Now we will have some time to share our comments too. So now let me share the screen again. Hold on a second because it is freezed. You can have a glass of water. We can see your PowerPoint at the moment. Yeah, isn't it blank? It is blank though, yeah. Yeah, it go up, uh, there it is. There, there, there. <laughs> Yeah, images are not loading. That's the problem I'm figuring out now. Are you seeing, seeing my screen? Yes, the, the yes. first slide of your PowerPoint, yes. Great. I can't imagine what's life now for teachers who are all of the time with their screens and sharing and Zoom and classes, and <laughs> it might be hard, right? Yeah, I don't have the images here. Results. Can you see it there, Hime? Yes, now we can. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. I, I was starting to be nervous. Now, uh, in my school, your kids will see the same three tabs as I have shown you. And here they will see their results, what they have done, okay, compared to their class. So they may see if they are way behind, if they, if they need to hurry up, or they, if they are over enthusiastic. They start in this sort of competition and healthy competition, okay that motivates them to do more okay so here they will see their average grade the video boosters that they have played in numbers okay and with reference to what their classmates have done okay the assignments too it has gone down okay so here you can see the assignment and they will have a graph okay of those assignments then oh. another thing yes a teacher is asking us here if the assignments are scored automatically. Yes, and that's great news. Okay, everything's ready made for us teachers. What we can do is think of additional activities or how to link this tool with what we are working in class, with our course books, with our programs. So the ideal thing is everything is done for us. We need to use our brains to see how to integrate this into our classes okay then we can see we can filter through grammar points through levels through topics okay and based on that is how we choose and how we start assigning things on a, on a plan okay and maybe on a daily basis you start twice a week okay so that's the way Okay, remember that I told you that you can also, uh, you have four complete tests that are aligned to the CFR level of English. Now, whenever they finish the test, they will have this pop-up message, okay, telling them about their level of English. And what they can do for extra motivation, as it, as it is, if it wasn't enough, they can print out a certificate. So they click on print my certificate and this is what they will get. No, let's see if the image loads. 
Are you still there? Can you see my screen or not? Not anymore. Not anymore. Okay, they will uh, find a certificate, which I don't know why in the screen it's not shown. Sorry for that. But it's a very, very nice certificate with a bright, uh, light sky color, okay, that says their level of achievement, that says congratulations, and it's signed. So it provides a lot of extra motivation, okay? Now, let me go back to the chat so I can share screen again. And you might want to allow I'm for rounding questions up. now. Exactly. The final thing that I wanted to show you, I'm sharing again. Are you there? Can you see my screen? Yes, yes, we can. Beautiful. Remember that today when we started with this webinar, I, I asked you to grab your phones, go to menti.com and use a code. Now, I would like you to do the same as I saw many, many nice things on the chat, okay? And go to menti.com, use the code that is provided up there, 489797, and write one or two words that come to your mind after learning about this new tool that, that you may find something handy in these times. So your answers oh, will go going immediately. To, I'm going to interrupt you again. Yes. Uh, because there is a question that might be of interest to everyone. Ya yes. Que, uh, Polar is asking us is, is if there is any material that is downloadable for English Attack or does it all run online? Everything's online. Yeah, you don't have a PDF or a worksheet. Everything is done there and is automatically corrected. The code uh, that you're asking for, teachers, is right there on the slide that Paola is displaying. Exactly. It exactly. Is right there. You go to everyone is wow, motivating, wonderful, practice, engaging, learning. This is a word cloud thing. So and it's totally anonymous. You can also work with your kids this way, okay? When you want their answers, you want them to participate. Engaging, feasible, diversity. Thank you for, for your comments. Teacher, sorry. Yes? I'm Fernando. Uh, the link is not, it's not working. Which link? Menti.com? Yeah. Menti. Okay, you have to go to menti.com and there they ask you for a code. When you see that space to add the code, you have to write the one that is appearing on this slide. Entertaining. Could you do so, Fernando? The code is right there at the top okay. of the slide. I, I thought it was L. Thank you. Uh, welcome. So we have nine participants giving us feedback on what they have seen in the workshop. That's great. Of course, there's no perfect tool. We there's, teachers there's no are the ones that make the difference too. As you can see in the screen that I'm sharing, it is working as teachers, already 14, 14 teachers, 15 now, have written things and it automatically uploads things here. Friendly, interesting, great. Thank you so much. And words will keep on popping up. Perfect, wow. Yes, it's right, the code is usable. The code is right. Yes. Four eight nine seven nine seven. Love it. Amuse. Challenging. Yeah. And there, remember, it's up to you and your magic because technology doesn't do things for us. It's 
the relationship that we have with our students, our goals, our brains, and our hearts mostly that make the difference. So the idea is that you can really take the, make the most of this, okay? And motivating. Mo yeah, exactly. Motivate you and your kids because we are all, we're all the time talking about our students, but we teachers have also faced a lot of changes, okay? And it's a really, really hard work. So uh, I just want to congratulate you all for, for the great work I'm sure you're all doing. And uh, now I will give you some time I'm with my video again. If you want to turn your cameras, I'm not sharing screen anymore. So I can go back to the chat. I can see you now. We will be sending the recording of the video to participants. Uh, local representatives will share links with you. Okay, and remember that every webinar has certificates of attendance too, so you will receive that too. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I know that we are we have a lot of webinars. It's impossible to attend to every single webinar that, that we have around. So I'm so thankful that you're all here. You're welcome. You're welcome. I, I, okay. I have a question. Do you know if all the webinars are recorded? Yes, all of the webinars uh, are being recorded. But the teachers, all of the, the teachers send to the participants? Yes, we are sending to the we are sending the certificates to participants and recordings uh, are being uploaded to internet. Okay, uh, maybe you receive an email with that, uh, but also you have to go to gostage.com uh, dash uh, Richmond Teacher Training. If I'm not wrong, he may correct me. That is only for the webinars that were delivered by Richmond, Mexico. For okay. the, rest of the webinars, each local Richmond team will be telling teachers how to access the recordings in each country. Uh, please don't contact us, don't contact Paola, don't contact me. Contact your local Richmond representatives so that they can let you know how they're going to make the recordings of all our webinars available to you in your specific countries. Okay. Thank you, Hime, too. So, mm -hmm. if there are no more questions, I... Uh, hi, hello. I'm uh, yes? from Chile. I hi. have a question. Hi. Yes. Is it okay to use this platform with kids that are six and seven years old? Well, you know, videos start from an elementary level, so you may use them, but they will need your guidance, okay? They will need you to be there or to adapt things, because you may use the video and maybe you have to create some other activities at their level, because the, the, the things that will come with the video will start from an elementary level, an A2 level, so if they are just starting with English, you should select the, the best activities that you think suit your needs or use videos to trigger other activities. And then when you're working in your remote lessons, you can add something up. Okay, thank you. No, thank you. Miss, hello. Hello, Doris. Hi, as the, I say, um, uh, congratulations I say the thanks you. for uh, for your presentation is for me very important because in this uh, day I I they start my class in this uh, in Ecuador thank in you Ecuador. I need to learn this uh, this uh, presentation I need to learn the plat platform sorry my English no, but we are all we are all learning because it, it's something that took us by surprise. So we need to, to to have different resources, and if they are ready made, that's much better. So yeah, I, I hope it was useful. more important. Yes, it's more important because this here only for English the the practice different strategies, different methods. Exactly. But but in this in this day. 
the, the surprise, the COVID-19, uh, practice more. Yes, and, more and we practice. have no other way of getting to our students than with this screen in front of us. So we have to get used to looking at the camera, to finding uh -huh. different exercises and different ways of changing our method. Okay, sorry. I, I learned the, this uh, medium, this uh, things. <laughs> <laughs> Great, thank you. I'm glad you did. Please, I so, need the platform. I need it. all methods, all of. <laughs> okay, so thank contact you. the Ecuador's local rep representative so they can guide you with the steps that you need, okay? Okay, thanks, Miss. Thank you. Bye. Any other, bye. Any other questions? Okay, so we have. Hello. Yeah. Hello. I have a question. Yeah. Is there a, a way that we can use the platform with all the students at the same time? Yes, of course. It, this goes until an advanced level, okay? So you will find tons of movie clips that are quite for their age, okay, and their interest, okay? It's not only at level, if you need a C1 level, a B2 level, or even if they are. Uh, they are teenagers, but their level of English is low. It's not only that A2 levels are cartoons. You will find current uh, films and clips and things that are interesting also for teenagers, for adults. So you can choose things, okay? And you have a wide variety of resources there. Okay, thank you. Thank and you. when it becomes like uh, about the games, Mm -hmm. There's only one can choose the answers, but if you are in the same at the same time with all the students, you can do those those games. Yeah, the thing is that each of your students has an account. Okay, so it's not that you are using the same account with many of your students. Okay, okay? each one has their own access, so it's not that the, if one works with it, the other won't have the opportunity. I don't okay, know if I got you. it wrong or not. Yeah? No, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, no more questions or any other questions? I love, it's like being in the park. I see a lot of faces. Hi, dear teacher. Hi. Hello, this Hi, is Margaret. My, hello, I'm from, I'm, key, I'm here in Quito, Ecuador. So, it's oh a very nice time to listen this wonderful information, I really thank you. I really oh, never you. have heard about this platform. In the same comments as all the teachers have written, it's wonderful, exciting, and very surprising the way that how can we work in very different areas. My question, my dear, is um, uh, until, until, so until this, uh, and this day, I mm -hmm. know that when we are working in Zoom session, uh, we are not able talking about we are the um, uh, talking about the coordinators i mean in the mm -hmm. session only we are are able to to work in the platform or in the computer so mm -hmm. the, the question was uh, was we're writing was the students are not able to manipulate and and work at the same time with my information which is shared in the computers is it true yeah, when you are sharing, it's as we did today. I was sharing my screen and you cannot click on the things or you cannot go to the exercises. When you are working by Zoom, for example, and you are sharing your screen, you can show them what to do. You can guide them. You can give them instructions. You can give them, okay, so now everyone, let's go to, let's find Shrek the fourth video. So everyone in their computer or all of your students start finding that video. Okay, now you have two minutes to watch the video. So you're there showing what they have to do, giving instructions, but then they have their own access. Okay, that's, that was the point that I was asking myself. And the other question, uh, because we have to connect with the main, uh, or in this case, rich man in our country, mm -hmm. to, to buy for our school, is it? So do we have to buy this platform for our school? Uh, the idea is that now we understand that every country and all of the world is suffering this uh, 
coronavirus mm -hmm. thing and it was on short notice so here in Richmond we want to help you okay and we want to be there for you so please contact your rep because uh, things may change okay it's not that you will have a hundred percent to pay for things this is not a commercial thing it's something that we need to to do in order as a community help each other but please contact your local rep for that okay thank you and finally you. the last question yeah. Uh, yes, of course. All of these uh, program, all of these activities in this platform, I saw that you show us there were a special area where we have to copy the links. It's possible to copy these links if, in my case, I work with Google Classroom. Can I copy the link to work with the, my platform too, to be reguided to the other platform? Yeah, if, if when you are working with Google Classroom, you can just direct them. To remember that English attack is, uh, is when you go to the web, EnglishAttack.com, and you have a username and a password. So it is as if you are entering to your email, okay? okay. And there the platform works, okay? okay? So you will be doing the same thing as we are working here in the Zoom classroom. And of course, you can send them direct links because it's on a web browser. Okay, thank you. And also the other last question, for sure. Mm -hmm. No <laughs> when worries. When you were playing the video, uh, there was a problem in my case when we were uh, testing this Zoom session with my colleagues, and mm -hmm. we didn't know how to uh, put the audio on when the video is playing. How did? What did you? What did you do? I was, I, was, I was so nervous that I don't remember what I did, but <laughs> I, am, I, can, I can recall that I went to the top right corner and there were three dots there. I clicked and it had a, uh, an option to share my, to optimize my video settings and sound and I clicked there. Oh yeah, okay. Thank you really, very much. I really appreciate all the information. Thank you. It was wonderful. God bless you. Please. Uh, stay the at same home. To you. You <laughs> Bless too. Your Take family. care. Take care too. Thank you and bye bye. Now, thank you all. Yes, of course, I'm there for you if you need any extra advice. Uh, uh, in Ecuador, you can contact Ivy Garcia. Uh, Nico uh, has a written uh, email there. It's egarcia at richmondelt.com. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I have to yes. free the classroom for another Perfect. session. So I just want to thank all the teachers that joined us today very much for their time, for being with us every time we offer a webinar. And thank you for a very instructive, informative, and nice presentation. Thank you very much. Thank um, you. Thank you. And we, I'm sure we will all meet again. So thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Pao. And Thank I'm you really all. sorry to have to cut it off, but Thank we need you. the room available for another session. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, and stay safe. I, I, I. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye. 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 B